Hey guys, Dave from Midwest Sports here to talk about uh, what Wilson is calling a racket revolution. This is the Wilson Clash Tour 100. So this is the uh, slightly heavier spec in the, the two Clash rackets that are available right now. And uh, last fall we got a chance to go to Wilson's Innovation Lab up in Chicago and they kind of walked us through what they were pitching as kind of the reinvention of the wheel when it comes to tennis rackets. And, uh, you know, we're always a little leery of things like that, but uh, really kind of walked us through the technology, the idea, the concept behind it. Uh, really interesting stuff. Uh, and then uh, shortly thereafter, we got these cool kind of spy photographic rackets to try out. And uh, these are uh, kind of what the Clash first looked like. You can't buy it in this colorway, but uh, Clash Tour as it hits the marketplace. Um, the idea behind Clash is that it's sort of a mashup of things that should be opposites, uh, power and control, flexibility and stability. Um, up until now, it's always been kind of a, a compromise one way or the other, but the Clash really does a nice job of kind of marrying these things together um, that you can really feel. Uh, it's not just a big marketing campaign, a fancy paint job, there really is substance behind this, this concept. Um, you can tell by the, the graphic on it, follows into their uh, kind of minimalist uh, design language that they use with the blades, the ultras, pro staffs, really slick looking racket. Um, again, this is the Clash Tour 100, so this is a 11 and a half ounce strung spec, uh, 100 square inch head, so about a half an ounce heavier than the uh, standard Clash 100. Same beam width, 24 and a half millimeters, so little on the wider end of the spectrum with uh, as far as tweener rackets go, personally, I it was semi-western forehand. I did a lot of top spin, slice, things of that nature. Not so wide that it gets in the way by any by any stretch, um, but just a really nice versatile specification. Again, 100 square inch head, um, open 16 by 19 string pattern. So um, concepts with this racket. So the idea is that this racket is uh, quite flexible. So those of you that are familiar with Wilson's stiffness index rating over the year, Pro Staff 6.1, Hyper Hammer 5.3. That was a measurement in millimeters of how far the racket bent, basically. And this racket, by the same measurement, would be 11.2. So it's off the charts in terms of flexibility. But the key with it is that not only does it bend uh, traditionally, it also bends vertically. I have a little graphic in here that kind of shows that. It's hard for me to do that. But um, the idea being that so many people that play these days hit the ball low to high, they take a full swing, they generate top spin, they're coming over the ball, and that swing plane actually does benefit from some vertical bending. So there really aren't rackets that do this in the marketplace, except for the Clash. And um, the idea behind that is it just gives you more control, more dwell time. Dwell time means control. Uh, Wilson claims 23% better dwell time with the Clash family. So um, it really boils down to control, however, still very stable, still has nice pop. And that's thanks to the, uh, they call it Stable Smart. It's kind of a bridge design here that uh, really allows the racket to uh, flex in the dimensions that Wilson engineered it to flex and uh, to remain stable in dimensions that it wants it to remain stable. So you get a nice kind of marriage of uh, flexibility and stability. Sounds too good to be true. It's not, it does work, it really does work. So uh, there's players on tour testing this out now. I would expect to see it on the on the court here shortly, but uh, really a great versatile technology. Um, control is the name of the game. Power doesn't mean anything if you can't keep the ball on the court. So this really gives you a nice blend of the two. Uh, again, nice variety of players that can use this. Um, but uh, you know, Wilson, I think, has really got a pretty solid design here to build upon, and we're excited about it. So Wilson Clash Tour 100.